3rd of March, I was diagnosed with brain cancer, brain tumours, and then spent nine months getting better and surgeries and whatever. After having operations on my brain, it sort of taken away my mobility, so I'm wobbly when I'm walking and like, I can't run or jump or things like that. I can watch the lesson or ask a question or really talk to my friends or whatever. So this is a switch between the microphones. So this is, I've got it on normal at the minute. Low is where it's sort of whisper. And then mute is if you don't want to say anything. Either one of them, it will flash a different color depending on which one you've selected. Elliot had been diagnosed with cancer and he'd missed a large amount of school in year seven and we were trying to find a way to get him some education and to get him keeping in touch with his friends because he'd lost contact with them with the amount of time he'd spent in and out of hospital. So it was just about trying to find a solution so that he could access learning and, and keep in touch with his mates. AV1 meant that he could keep in touch with his friends, he could liaise through lessons. We never thought a robot would combat isolation until we got out there and started uh talking to people. We sought out all the hospital schools and organizations and charities and the kids that had long-term illness and after uh, quite a few months of interviews we found that we have to find a way to get them out of their beds uh, and that ended up as a robot. Last year we had a four that at one point were off school because they were having cancer treatment or a similar illness. As Elliot starts to come back into school then we'll start to transfer the use of AV1 to, to some of the other children. With any new technology uh, we had teething problems. It wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi properly, there was something wrong with the power supply. Uh, so they replaced that. Uh, with this one it works an awful lot better. Um, and if there's a lot of children in the class and uh, um, a vocal class, then the, the, the sound isn't easy to sort of um, unjumble. From a parent's point of view, um, it's the very first steps to reintegrate them back into mainstream education, which is very, very important. It's got its ups and downs. Like seeing friends, that's good, but school, <laughs> yeah, school's a thing of its own. Mm -hmm. 